It's my very great pleasure to be here this afternoon after a completely uh, marvellous and spectacular day. I say that as a surgeon. Uh, I'm not even sure I understand what 30 petabytes of data are uh, from my own uh, particular discipline. But what I do understand, uh, having had the privilege now for a few years to chair UK Biobank, is uh, what a spectacular contribution Biobank is making to uh, global biomedical research. Uh, and that contribution is made uh, principally because 500,000 of our fellow citizens, uh, some nearly two decades ago, took the decision to donate their biological samples, specimens, uh, to Biobank at a time when it wasn't entirely clear what we were going to do with them. But they were prepared to do so. And that act of altruism is hugely important because it's created a biological resource that has allowed some 30,000 investigators around the world to participate in interrogation, investigation of a uh, data set that grows continuously uh, because of advantage, uh, advances in methodology uh, and technology that allow us to interrogate it in quite unique ways. So thank you to all participants for uh, having agreed uh, to give those uh, samples, those specimens, and have, having continued uh, to support us in this important mission. But then to the 30,000 investigators who have decided to participate in this enterprise without the intellect, the insights, the imagination, uh, this resource would be nothing. Uh, and uh, we are indebted to all of you. Some 600 participants here today in London, some 1,300 online but 30,000 who are deeply committed uh, to this mission of open access to a scientific resource, vitally important. Uh, beyond the remarkable advances, many of uh, which have been uh, described here today, what Biobank has also done over the last 15 to 20 years is to show how open access science can have a profound impact because we are able to marshal the intelligence, the insights of thousands of investigators in such a way that closed projects, the traditional way, if I might say, of doing science, sometimes is not able to do. And that is quite remarkable. And the outputs from Biobank as a result of that have had a profound impact on driving understanding, driving insights, and advancing so many fields in a way that could never have been imagined uh, when the Biobank project was first proposed uh, over 20 years ago now. So thank you to all of those investigators. And then there is a broader interest in the science, in the clinical, medical, and associated communities around the world. And that interest is hugely important in sustaining Biobank because a project like this uh, is difficult to deliver unless there is a true global understanding and global enthusiasm to sustain it. Uh, we have remarkable funders. Recently, uh, the base of funding, first initiated by the Medical Research Council, welcome other charities here in the UK, and importantly, industry partners, has been further supplemented through philanthropic donation matched by the UK government. And that donation, uh, that philanthropy, is going to allow us to extend the base of what we do in Biobank. Uh, we're going to create a new campus uh, in the Manchester Science Park. That's going to allow us to uh, upgrade our robots so that uh, specimen access will be uh, more efficient and more effective that we will be able to secure with more certainty the long-term future of this biological uh, resource. And so different constituencies, those who believe in this mission of open access science uh, built upon uh, a remarkable uh, manifestation of altruism, 500,000 uh, fellow human beings, the engagement of tens of thousands of brilliant researchers can deliver something truly unique for humanity. We've heard much of that potential today 
inevitably on a project of this, with a project of this nature, there are tremendous challenges. Uh, we've seen and read about some of those as we move forward. The collection of data, the marshalling of data, the provi provision of data uh, are both um, immediately obvious things to do to advance human health, uh, but at moments somewhat controversial. And in all of that, we have to have the confidence and the courage to move forward, always with decency, integrity, and honesty in the way that we go about uh, this great mission, but always ultimately recognizing uh, that we have a single North Star in this great enterprise, and that is the patient. Uh, all of this research ultimately will advance understanding, will advance the opportunity to identify uh, new ways to interrogate and understand disease, and ultimately help us find new therapies, and indeed uh, new ways to understand pathophysiology and ultimately prevent disease, in such a way that we will advance human health and improve the outcomes for our patients. Thank you all very much for the contributions that every one of you are making to this great enterprise. And I'd like to thank uh, Sir Rory Collins and his remarkable team at UK Biobank for all they do tirelessly and relentlessly uh, to ensure that this great resource can advance uh, medical science in the world. Thank you all very much indeed.